Thank you everyone again for joining. Uh, my name is Dominic and I work with Amazon's selling partner App Store. As you may know, the App Store is a one-stop shop for our sellers to discover and enable more than 2,500 trusted apps to help you grow and manage your businesses. We are continuing our webinar series today with a presentation from our software partner, OpenText, on how to simplify your global omni-channel operations. Without further ado, I now give the floor to Don. Thank you, Dominic. I want to welcome everyone to today's webinar. I am Don Wiener with OpenText. Um, for the past 30 years, OpenText has partnered with companies around the world, providing them solutions that allow them to connect to the world. Before we jump in the presentation, let's briefly talk about why it's important that your company has the ability to connect to the world. Based on our experience, we know that 30 to 40 percent of the information you need to run your organization comes from outside of your company. For example, based on the participants of this call being Amazon sellers, this would include all the information exchange between you and Amazon, such as product information, product images, orders, canceled orders, payment information, et cetera. As you grow, which we hope you all do, um, and especially as you execute on your omni-channel strategy, you will continue to add many trading partners, other marketplaces, retailers, distributors, suppliers, manufacturers, et cetera. In OpenText, we provide a scalable solution that seamlessly integrates all trading partners into our customer's business. For the next few minutes, we're going to discuss how we can simplify your global omni-channel operations and how OpenText can be your partner to do that. Uh, we're going to talk about complexities of today's selling landscape. We know how we shop has changed and we know it's going to continue to change. This leads us to our second topic, navigating omni-channel. Unless you understand how to leverage Omnichannel, it'll be difficult for any organization to compete and grow. Then we're going to jump into the case study and spend most of our time there talking about how we help one small company connect to the world and grow and then finish up with the open tech solution. Why is Omnichannel so important? Because as consumers, we want it all from product research to purchase and fulfillment. Your customers are channel hopping throughout their shopping journey. The National Retail Federation, the NRF, did a study at the end of last year, the end of 2022. And what I like about this study is they broke down how, and this is for U.S. customers, how U.S. consumers shop based on three segments. Um, the first segment is in-store, and that's traditional brick-and-mortar retail. The second one is hybrid. Buy online, pick up in-store, buy in-store to de deliver to your home, or buy online and pick up curbside. And then the third is online, which is traditional e-commerce, buying online, delivering to home, office, or some type of locker. Now, what this study found is across all categories and all age groups, all categories of retail merchandise and age groups, 45% of the U.S. consumers like to shop in store, 27% like to shop hybrid, 28% online. Now, if you look at the categories, and we'll just look at a few of them. In the grocery category, 62% of the consumers like to shop in store, 20% hybrid, and 19% online. Now, when you jump into apparel and footwear, in store goes down to 40%. 25% of apparel and footwear shoppers are shopping hybrid and 35% online. And then the other interesting one I thought was interesting was home goods. 28% in store, which is by far the lowest, 40% hybrid. So again, buy online, picking up in store or buy online picking up curbside, and 31% online. Now, if you look at it by age, and this is somewhat intuitive, if you look at Gen Z, those, those people who in 2023 are 11 to 28, 37% shop in store, 36% hybrid, and 28% online. When you jump to millennials, that next group, 29 to 43 year olds, 38% in store, 30% hybrid, and 32% online, and then when you go to the boomers, 59 to 77, 60% in store, 18% hybrid, 22% online. A lot of numbers. But what this confirms is your customers shop in a variety of ways. And this is why you need an omni-channel omni strategy to reach all your consumers where they want to shop. When you get into omni-channel, you want to create a consistent experience. And this is based on your customers wanting it all. Now, this sounds simple, but in reality, it's a, it's a challenge. And let's first look how products are presented and sold. Um, I spent some time reviewing several of our customer products. These are large, some large global brands on the various channels they sell. And it doesn't take long 
to see discrepancies between the various channels. You will see differences in product or style name that is different. And then when you get down to product attributes, you see differences in product dimensions, things like item depth, height, height width, pant and seam length, or product attributes like fabric or material description, sleeve type, stone details for jewelry. And what this causes is confusion because your customers, and we all know how we shop, if we can't figure it out quickly, and, we, and we're confused by whether we're looking at a product in store or whether we're looking at a web page or we're looking at a social media post, we're on to the next, next item, next store, next page. So you get the product set up and hopefully it's consistent. Again, it's a, you want that consistency across all your channels. The second thing, and this is where we're gonna spend a little more time, is then you have to deal with all the supply chain fulfillment requirements by each channel. And what we do know, this varies across marketplaces, e-commerce site, store, and, and, and stores where you're, shop, where you're selling your product. The challenge, I think everyone agrees that omni-channel is important, it's the key, key to growth. However, it's costly and complex. Now, the open tech solution, and knowing that your customer want it all, and they're going to be shopping in-store hybrid and online, we allow you to connect once and integrate to all your channels. The solution we offer is for any size seller, it scales as your business grows, whether it be additional marketplaces, and it provides an efficient and cost of way to execute on your omni-channel strategy. I think the best way to demonstrate this is let's jump into a case study. And let's now take a look at one company's omni-channel journey to connect with all their customers. This is a, this is a small company that manufactured textiles are based in the Midwest. Um, their product was extremely unique in its design and they developed a manufacturing process to ensure consistent quality. And that was two of their key product attributes. The product was branded within target markets and the markets it was focused on retail and the hospitality industries. And based on the uniqueness of the product, they also, um, they also had a lot of interest from other retailers and hospitality providers to provide a private label version, which is great. So they could actually, again, expanding channels, private label being one of those. However, this brought in additional complexities. At first, like this slide shows, it was manageable. The company started their journey selling on essentially two channels, their own website and as a seller on Amazon. The company's internal systems were fairly basic, allowing for basic accounting and fulfillment. When an order came in on Amazon or their internal website, they were essentially using a manual process to fill that order. Based on only having two channels in limited orders, as the slides say, it was manageable. So they started out, everything was easy. Now, with success becomes more com complexity. You may have heard that saying, success is a responsibility more than an accomplishment. Well, this textile company became very successful. They built a social media presence. They received great reviews. And all in all, there's getting positive PR on their products. And this caused a number of channels to take note. And they wanted to start selling their product on these various channels. And of course, the company wanted to leverage the success to expand into additional marketplaces and retailers. So the company realized, this textile company realized that they needed to rapidly ex execute on an omni-channel strategy. The omni-channel growth opportunity came with a number of challenges. However, we're just going to discuss two. First of all, the backend systems that were running the company needed to be enhanced and upgraded as they needed to better automate their entire business process. And this is a natural process of, of any company growing. You need to make sure you have efficient systems on the back end. The other challenge is with each new channel they wanted to add, they had different requirements that they needed to meet to sell on that channel. They quickly found out the manual process they built when they were a smaller company with two channels, their website and Amazon, were not going to work as they expanded channels. Now let's take a look at behind the scenes of what that looks like. What you see on this slide is what the company was facing. Each new channel they added had different requirements. So for example, if they're gonna to sell to a retailer and store, those would be traditional business to business requirements. Again, with, with, with specific formats, documents and labels. So if they were gonna be shipping to a retailer distribution center, they would need to receive an EDI purchase order, return EDI advanced ship notices, invoices, and of course, provide carton labels so the retailer could actually automate the receiving process on their end. 
if they were going to embrace drop ship with any number of drop ship channels that are out there, that's definitely more business to consumer. And it's interesting working with business to consumer, everything in this channel becomes much more timely because now you are consumer facing. Shipping to customers requires consumer facing packing lists, gift messages, return instructions, etc. And when you look at specialty retailers that they were going into, many, many of these were shipping direct to store. And again, specific formats, documents, and labels. Now the company realized they could implement separate systems for each channel. And this is what you see on, on the slide here, that for each channel, there was another point solution. However, it still would be a manual process. And what do we know about manual processes? They're costly, prone to errors, and also most importantly, delays that product getting to the channel, which is negatively gonna impact sales. Again, the, the biggest concern is the cost of it and the lost sales. Like the slide shows, each one of these channels could utilize a point-to-point -point solution. However, this would not allow for the company to leverage and integrate their backend systems. It would require additional people to manage each one, costly. And if the company had delays, they were missing ship dates, it would cause unhappy customers, whether it be their end user customer or the retailers. And remember, this company had a great reputation. And the last thing they wanted to do was diminish that then have to regain that. And the other thing is you expand in the channels and you start working with other retailers. If you don't meet these fulfillment, many retailers, and this is across the industry, if you're not meeting the requirements and the retailer has to manually process your merchandise to get it to their fulfillment center or to their store, they're going to charge you for that. And the last thing you want to do is be charged when you're not meeting the requirements. These are sometimes referred to as chargebacks or expense uh, offsets. So as a company was committed to the omni-channel approach, they realized they needed to make changes to support growth. They needed a solution that would quickly integrate and leverage their investment in their backend processes and system. They wanted a solution that would scale and expand as they grew. They also wanted a global provider as they knew global expansion was on the horizon. This is when they partnered with OpenText. We offer a solution that allowed the company to connect to all the channels, provided one connection that allowed them to process and fulfill their orders, regardless of the particular channel's requirements. We gave them a platform to execute their omni-channel strategy that connected them to the world. And this actually helped them grow and help them execute. The good news is, as this textile company grew, they're continuing to add new channels. Many of these channels were outside of North America. The company's goal was to meet their customer anywhere and leverage any channel a consumer is interested in buying a company's product. Now on this slide, you see the person at the company just received an email. It says, we're going to start selling on superduper.com. And the person says to himself, this will be simple. Let me go to my open text portal and get this set up. Now, without their open text solution, they need to review and understand superduper.com's requirements, figure out the best way to meet those requirements, and most likely purchase and implement another point solution for superduper.com. This is costly and time consuming. And every day that is lost to setup and implementation is a day this company's product would not be selling on this new channel. So as a leading provider of omnichannel solutions, we know this needs to be an easy and quick process. We make it as easy as one, two, three, which is a few clicks you can add or change channels. This process has been developed and refined over the past 30 years. Every month on behalf of our customers, like this textile company, we implement thousands of new trading partners, such as new channels, suppliers, transportation providers, banks, etc. And what we've done over the past 30 years, we have leveraged these 30 years to develop an extremely easy and efficient process. So what does that look like to add SuperDuper for this, for this company? The company submits superduper.com information to be processed for setups. Is OpenText is a leading provider of these services? It is more than likely we know superduper.com's requirements. In this case, the company simply needs to confirm. At that point, OpenText takes this request and gets superduper implemented so the company can quickly start selling on the channel. Again, very simple process, very quick process with the ultimate goal, let's get our product out there and let's start selling it on the new channel. So for the past 30 years, OpenText has partnered with companies like the one we just talked about around the goal, providing them a solution to meet, to help grow and execute on their omni-channel journey. For 30 years, we've been delivering trust and quality 
We support omnichannel growth around the globe. Wherever you want to sell your product, OpenText will support your worldwide growth. Our solution and network moves trillions of dollars in commerce. We have 137 million secure endpoints, 100 million end users, and most importantly, high reliability. This is the foundation of everything we do. We have to make sure the service we're providing you is providing you uh, reliability. And we have a 99.99% uptime. In addition, as mentioned before, because we've been doing this for 30 years, and we've worked with so many of your channels, when you, when you have a new channel, there's a good chance OpenText has already connected to that channel, which makes the process much more efficient for your business. As your company grows and needs a partner to help execute your omni-channel strategy, we welcome the opportunity to partner with you to provide a solution that seamlessly integrates, scales and expands as you grow, provides you the global reach for your worldwide expansion. We look forward to working with you to simplify your global omni-channel operations.